50 Jaina Waterway, marvellous isn't it? And you wonder why accidents happen. On the way home on Friday from work there was an accident quite some way down the motorway apparently. About five or six miles away and yet up here it was just bumper to bumper for miles and miles. But I did a bit of a Royal Jordanian and weaved in and out of them. to Rishton, that road was shocker as well, so I went on an alternate route, got home an hour later.
past London it's cloudy here and dull I'm going to Rivington but from there on the hills you can see all the course although if it's sunny I think I'll head on to Southport afterwards why not got half a tank of fuel <laughs> shouldn't waste a sunny day after seeing uh, Hepcat Harley's posting of uh, photograph on Facebook sat in his backyard he drinking beer with his baggy tracky bottoms on and loafers <laughs> I was tempted to do the same I could have gone to Aldi got some cheap wine and a few beers and sat in the backyard but no no I'm not one to laze around drinking <laughs> Not all the time. But like I said, if it's sunny on the coast, I'll be heading out there. And as I mentioned Hepcat Harley, I thought I'd uh, stop and have a quick look at that campsite where he's going with the pods. Pods! Pod! Pod! Oh, they are a wooden teepee if there is. Him and Mandy are staying there. video still will give him an idea of where he's going although he does have sat down sunny on the course, I'll just have my usual burger in a broom and come home again. I'm not going all the way to Southport for nothing. I like sunshine on me. Yeah, he's got his leather on. I'm going to put my leather jeans on when I thought, well, should all wear leather jeans. Silly not to. I think we're riding staggered out, but you moved across.
thought it's a three exhaust at the back. How cool is that? I don't know what bike it is, it's a Triumph Triple, possibly. I just put some talcum powder in my gloves, it might not be wise. <laughs> well, I make them smell better, but I thought my hands were going to be full of bloody talcum powder and I can't wipe them on my black jeans. Well, I can. I should have put my leathers on. Well, I've got my duster on now, I'll put them on my duster. I'll put my hands on my duster and the talcum powder will just wipe off. <laughs> See him Barrett in with the uh, Hayabusa, what's he doing in his van? working on a Sunday Another Rolls Royce So on yesterday Throttle down, slow down well, we're not all daft, you know. That lovely. As I roved out one morning fair to view the valleys and fields green Your speed is 31, 32 Well I'll slow down As I rode out one morning and fell At 20 past 3 <laughs> Well, like I said, I, I wasn't even going to get the bike out I've been up to uh, a shop called Original Factory Shop Toffs The Original Factory Shop, that spells And they sell some little lawn edging plastic squares because, guess what's uh, ended up in my little garden I've just built? <coughs> Excuse me, stray cat crap. Yeah, that stray cat I feed has decided to crap in my new little garden. On top of catnip, which I'm growing for him. Little Burke. Put an old upside down wire hanging basket over the top and got this edge in only five pounds. You get quite a lot as well, little interlockable squares, about five inch square in trees. It's got a litter tray as well, and it's still crap in garden. What's wrong with the litter tray? Dirty little bastard. I am more greenery, not lovely. bump there for years, why don't, you, why don't you iron it out? Maybe it's there on purpose to make us slow down. 
the speed up. Hello. Now I have another freshly mown meadow. That lovely. Should I get off my bike and uh, roll about in the grass naked? I would do, honest. Come on, son! Yeah, I watched in a uh, compilation of clips in tribute to uh, Sergeant Major Williams from an eight and a half foot month. The assholes of the BBC refused to show repeats because they say it's offensive. And it was an excellent comedy. By the same people who did Dad's Army and Heidi High. What a bunch of knobs of BBC I. Oh no, we can't show that. It's racist, sexist. He keeps calling them buffs. You're a bunch of buffs! <laughs> shut up, shut up! It's funny, he plays that part very well, doesn't he? And yet, in that antique thing, is it? You're right, no. Windsor Davis, that's it, couldn't think of his name. Yeah, Windsor Davis, he probably was in the army when he was younger because he plays his Sergeant Major character to a T. I know, I could open it up and overcheck this car and get me knee down, but I'm not. The camera's there now. What are them yellow poles? Looking hopeful, off the mills, is it sunny? I've actually noticed of the landscape around here before, it's lovely isn't it? Perhaps it's because it's green now, it's all horrible and straw coloured uh, in springtime. A lot nicer when it's green. Hello, hello. Not even fitting me tires in order for a while. I was looking on eBay, you can get a PA system with a bigger speaker, but uh, is it going to work or fail? All the way from China, about I think it was 17.99. I thought it would fit the PA in the belly pan, keep the rain off it or deflect the rain. I've not got a voice like Windsor Davis even though I'm rather large I don't have a powerful voice my dad and brother have you know do a proper scream but I can't a scream like Ian Gillen <laughs> you going out of it Sladoon, Sladoon! And if I should upload this as a complete run to Rington Boy, I've done it before, but uh, hey, when I put my computer on this morning to see if there's any comments from my camera test video, I've lost two subscribers. <laughs> they must think I'm not subscribing to him anymore, his videos are too bloody long. An hour, 55 minutes, and now 42 minutes. I want to see someone doing wheelies for two minutes. Yeah, look at that. 
that car had been going a bit faster. What is your rush? Silly sausage. And it's shifting. Yeah, these hills were all uh, straw coloured as well. Now they're all green and lovely. I'll have a check on this straight bit up here. A bit safer. The angle that lad leaned over, I wouldn't trust the road surface. I mentioned that to someone and he said, no, the gyroscopic effects of your wheels keep you upright. Well, they don't. If you hit a patch of gravel, you are off. What bollocks that was. Gyroscopic, my ass. Even a pothole's enough to throw you off. So that's it. <laughs> it is illegal to mark the road. Hmm, well, of course, sort of looks a bit brighter. It's going to be like this, isn't it? Scattered clouds. What that means, illegal to mark the road, because it's uh, popular with cyclists and that Olympic cyclist, Bradley Wiggins, lives, uh, well, he used to live in Chorley. And uh, all the fans used to write messages, go, Wiggy, go, <laughs> on the road in spray paint. And the council must be objecting to that. <laughs> it could be worse. It was like a bikers campaign, I think it was mentioned in Motorcycle News a few years ago. And it said to get the council to uh, fill in potholes, you know, resurface the road. If you see a pothole, get a yellow spray can from your pound shop, local pound shop, and spray a little willy. And bollocks. <laughs> Next to the hall, and then they'll do something about it, and apparently it works. Cock and balls campaign. It's illegal to mark the road. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> it shows a handle in a spray can. <laughs> they could have done one to say it's illegal. To <laughs> it's illegal to draw willies and bollocks on the road. What would the uh, sign like that look like? <laughs> I was going to do that, my brother did it years ago and I was going to embroider the idea. Borrow a road and triangular road mender's signs, you know, a man having trouble putting brelly up, them road signs. And uh, paint it out with white paint and do something else on it. And my brother did one, he put a foot on and a tongue licking the heel and it said, Sucker my heel. I'm not sure what it all meant, but it was sort of amusing. You know, he borrowed this workman's triangle overnight, then returned it. And he thought it was funny, so <laughs> he kept it up until they'd finished the job. 
<laughs> Suck on that heel. So, there you have an idea for you. Borrow Workman's Triangle and redesign it. Yes, I'm going at a leisurely pace and talking cobblers at the same time. I can multitask. Three thirty-four. Twenty degrees. I put it on Fahrenheit, it must have jiggled the button at the back. I think the bushy caravan's still open until four. Shining in the sky, in the cloud, in the shining. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dry stone wall collapsed and been wiped by a car. Look at all the signs, why they're so bothered. It's illegal to draw on the road, it's very naughty indeed. There are the village stocks. <laughs> Now as I'm going to upload, I think, the entire run. The new path here, it's easy to miss it, it's here. The very first turn off. Which will avoid you going over them silly bloody speed humps. You're going out of it. Down there. Nice amount of them Triumph. What they call them racing reps. I forgot now. Come on, Albert, move it, move it. What are you doing? Yeah, Christmas is coming, Albert. Be pull out and pull in. I think I just took in pictures as well. I brought my little. Uh, Compact Pentax Z750, it's only 7 megapixel. Let's get a burger. Thank you. Clouds of dust. Yeah, that's not yours, that one. Oh, he's only to have a little towel on your dashboard. Uh, you as well look round. When I suggested covering holes up like that with rubber grommets, it doesn't work if they're oval because I've got an assignment off eBay and my local car shop. 
and while you happily sit in normal homes, oval ones, because you're very it's because you're oval shaped isn't it? <laughs> you just don't stay put BMW, very nice 1950s Triumph, even nicer Indian drifter. Is it an Indian or a drifter? Very nice, Z900. E-Ridge, 67 BSA, very nice, the lightning. Let's have a look. That noise over it. BSA Sportsman. Oh, it's a little single. A bit bigger from over there. Get one size up from a little Bentham. I wouldn't know. Tracer, I like them. They suit me, that's a very low seat though. <laughs> you know, there's so many here once, looking at a load of British bikes, and because I didn't have a clue what they were, someone called me a tool on the Rivington Bar Barkers, Rivington Barkers Facebook group. What a tool! And another Arab chap and yes, he don't know what he's talking about, does he? So I left the group. What you know, pillocks. I see if you see me, come and call me a tool to my face if you like. See what happens. And I tried to contact the woman that runs that Facebook page, Susan Rigby, she was up to uh, Lynn King's funeral. And a girl steward, you know, Marshall, did a very good job stopping traffic, so I, I asked her, she applied to your group from Ribby Vine Bikers. And she just ignored me. So, Sodom. Bunch of weirdos. As I said, I've never subscribed to that old bike as a mate, Cobbler, just some git some bikes. Uh, entirely wrong attitude. They're meant to be mates, but uh, some people enjoy being shitheads. I love these kettles. Known as a water buffalo in America. What did Bandit never say? They're called over there. Something else. They call it something else in Australia. I'm going to set off. Let's see this triumph start up.
You know, they've only got jeans on. I'm not the only one then, good. You get very sweaty, don't you, ladies? You mustn't think of that, though. You must think of the safety aspect. Two kicks. Third kick. Lovely old thing now, didn't it? Rev it, Albert, rev it. Can you hear that? Deep tone, isn't it lovely? Just trying to spring gun. You all right? You want you want a bungee? I've got a spare bungee. Or is that not the problem? Yeah, I think he's trying to put the tape. Do you want a bungee? You know, are you are you mending it? All right. Alright. Yeah, it's always carry a bungee, I suppose. Alright, well, I'll join the queue, get a drink, and a burger. Had me fry up last night. Four eggs and six rashes of bacon. It was smoked, so I'm not keen on smoked, but it went down well. You notice it was smoked in little letters. And I had that burger in uh, the hillside butty van. And now I'm getting another burger. Well, actually, that's it. Complete run to Rivington on a sunny day. Should I continue to show port? We shall see. Bye bye, thanks for watching.